Thank you. I was a little bit wired last night. I gotta say, I had a little trouble drifting off. Leaders of the three political parties in BC took part in the only televised debate of the election campaign Tuesday night, featuring BC NDP leader David Eby, BC Green Party leader Sonia Firstenau, and BC Conservatives leader John Rustad. Given the nature of of the election and and uh, the, the the electoral system and the, the closeness of the polls, I don't know that it's going to make a significant difference when it it feels like quite a lot is at stake in the choice between the two front running parties. It's harder to make the case for voting for a a, a third party option. The ninety minute clash featured BC's most pressing issues, schools, including housing affordability, the toxic drug crisis, and, and paper affordable. straws. Ended up being a pretty fair representation of where the different leaders come down on a number of these important issues facing the province. I thought if somebody was listening to hear how, how the leaders measure up and how they compare, they, they came away with, with a sense of, yeah, these, these are parties with significant differences and a sense of what those differences add up to. BC NDP leader David Eby was asked at a campaign event Wednesday morning if there was anything he wished he had done differently at Tuesday night's debate. We didn't really get to talk about all of the different ways uh, that, uh, that I'm committed, uh, Kelly's committed, our team is committed to supporting British Columbians with the cost of daily life. Another piece that I wasn't able to raise last night was just that every single chance that John had when he was in government last time he raised costs for people. City News spoke with some British Columbians to get their thoughts on the debate. When asked if they had watched the debate, most people said no. Some even asking, what debate? It was really great to see all three of the party leaders acknowledge students or young voters in one way or another in the dialogue that they were having. For me, I don't think it's really uh, changed my position on where I'm planning on voting. It reminded me of how much I liked Sonia and how important she is to keep around. So if I lived in a district where the Greens were competitive, I would certainly uh, vote for them uh, or consider voting for them. BC Green Party leader Sonia Firstenau held a press conference Wednesday afternoon regarding public safety in the province, where she was asked about her performance in the debate. I feel that I represented the work of our entire BC Greens team last night, uh, and I could only do that as a leader of such an amazing team. BC Conservatives leader John Rustad did not have any scheduled campaign events Wednesday. Advanced voting begins Thursday, October 10th and is open for all eligible voters ahead of the election on October 19th. In Vancouver, Lawrence Stallone, City News.